So I think that one of the big differences and, and major improvements in diagnosis and staging and evaluation of bladder cancer, especially non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, has been enhanced cystoscopy. We've, we've been using the same cystoscopy for many, many years, the standard white light cystoscopy. And while the optics have gotten better, we've got flexible scopes, we've got, much, uh, we've got digital scopes, and, and the images that we see are much improved, we still see a lot of things in the bladder that may or may not be bladder cancer. We also miss a lot of lesions in, that we see in the bladder. As a matter of fact, when we look back in somebody's, into somebody's bladder after they've had a quote-unquote transurethral section of their bladder for complete tumor removal, 40 to 70 percent of the time we will see additional tumor if we look back in four to six weeks. So there clearly is a need to improve our ability to identify bladder cancer. It's the most critical, important point or part of the initial evaluation, and it sets up all of our subsequent treatment. Since 2010, when CISVIEW was uh, uh, FDA approved, it's been used widely in many centers to, for the diagnosis uh, and detection, surveillance, and treatment for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. So there were two uh, recent studies. One is a registry study. The other is a, a prospective trial to look at the benefit or potential benefit of using CISVIEW with blue light cystoscopy for the diagnosis uh, and detection and treatment for bladder cancer. And both of these studies clearly demonstrated a significant benefit. I've been using CISVIEW uh, in the operating room since uh, 2010. I was part of the prospective trial, and I will tell you that I can uh, identify tumors much more readily, especially in difficult parts of the bladder to see, such as up at the dome anteriorly, way up in the corners, and it helps me identify tumors. I can see them much more clearly. I can also make sure that I resect them more completely because I switch from white light to blue light uh, and then back to make sure that I've completely resected the tumor by uh, making sure that all of the fluorescence has been removed. Both of these studies clearly show that you can identify tumors better, that the carcinoma in situ lesions, which are potentially deadly, are much more readily identified with cisview and blue light cystoscopy, and that we change the management and staging and treatment of the patients in up to 15 to 25 percent. Ultimately, uh, we've demonstrated in previous studies uh, that the recurrence rate uh, decreases. We still are hoping to uh, demonstrate that we can decrease the progression rate in non-muscle invasive bladder cancer using cystic and blue light cystoscopy. There have been some studies that show, have shown a trend, not yet any statistically significant differences yet, but there's no question that we are seeing decrease in the recurrence rates, and we're seeing more tumors, we're resecting them more completely, we're finding carcinoma in situ lesions more readily. I'm hopeful that it will be part of the uh, standard armamentarium of most urologists. The uh, American Urology Association and SUO uh, updates for 2016 on non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, the guidelines have a recommendation with enhanced cystoscopy, of which uh, I think cystic and blue light cystoscopy are not only enhanced, but they do provide a level of specificity that other enhanced cystoscopy methods may not. There is some issues with false positives with blue light, as with white light, as well as false negatives with uh, white light. Not so many false negatives with blue light. I think the negative predictive value for, for blue light is quite high. But that as you learn, as you begin to use more cystic and blue light cystoscopy more often, I think that you can uh, decrease your false positive rate uh, significantly.